Hiya, it's Tracy and Georgia. We're going to make some shortbreads today and uh, hopefully very simple and have some fun at doing it. Now firstly you just need to put your oven on at 190 degrees gas mark 5 and the ingredients are 125 grams of butter, 180 grams of plain flour and 55 grams of caster sugar and a little bit extra to finish it all off. Now the method, we need to beat the butter with the sugar until it's soft and creamy. George is going to help me do that. So butter and the sugar, Georgia, and good old fashioned wooden spoon. And we're going to beat the egg, uh, the butter and the sugar together until it's creamy. Don't know how long it'll take, mind. Come on, Georgia. Might be good if the butter was soft. Be a bit easier. Wow, look, well done, Georgia. That's looking great. So as we said, you beat the butter together with the sugar until soft and creamy. Now we need to stir in the flour to get a smooth paste. Now I think that's gonna be very hard, Georgia, but that flour has got to go into that butter and sugar and make a smooth paste. If you want to add some gradually, Georgia, it might make it a little bit easier for you. No, 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 just put some of it in and beat that in first. And just take your time, otherwise I think you'll um, take quite a while to get it all blended in. So that the cooking time is only about uh, the preparation time is only about ten minutes, but I'm sure it'd probably take Georgia half an hour to an hour. But oh well, I'm sure they taste lovely. Now with shortbread, you can actually add anything you like to it. You could, uh, once you've got to your paste, add some chocolate chips into it, or some raisins into it, or different products to to give you different flavours. Or you could even do half and half. So you could do half plain and then add some raisins in the other or, or mixed fruits or nuts or whatever you wanted. Entirely up to you. Right, so here we are now with, it looks like breadcrumbs, but we're getting our hands into it to make it more of a doughy, Ball, if that makes any sense. <laughs> How's it binding together, Georgia? We've got to roll that out and make shortbread pieces out of that. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna roll. Well, it looks like we might be making our own shapes then, yeah? Yeah. Now we're going to line a baking tray with some greaseproof paper so that we can get this shortbread out into the, into the oven. So we're going to do that now. So as you can see, we're rolling it out. And we need to... We need to roll it out to one centimetre or half an inch thick. up in that back there, Georgia, so you've just got to put your breadboard a bit nearer to yourself. <laughs> Tell we're not very good at all this video and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's Martha says, while you're making some cakes, can you put a video together just so we can uh, show all our beautiful, beautiful clients? This has taken three hours so far. <laughs> Thanks, Martha. <laughs> anyway, all rolled out. We're going to cut into some shapes now. Now that it's all rolled out, we've used a ramkin so we can have some nice big mm, round ones. What you need to do, Georgia, behind you there is a tray with some baking greaseproof paper on it. 
You can put them onto there because we do need to put them in the fridge to chill them down before we bake them in the oven. Georgie, you've got to try and get 24 out of that. <laughs> Some very big ones. I think we're going with some nice square, trying rectangle, different shape ones now. As you can see, we've re-molded it together to be able to re-roll it back out. Saves wastage. We will get 24 little cookies or shortbread, sorry. ones now. If you've got cutters then use all different various cutters but I took all my cutters to Sage House so I don't have any cutters here. baking tray as well. So once all these are cut, we're sprinkling a little bit of caster sugar over the top and then we are going to put them in the fridge to chill for 20 minutes. And then bake so we can have some shortbreads this afternoon. Brilliant, lovely Georgia, superb. We'll put them in the fridge now love. See the shortbreads, some were 10 minutes cooked, some took 15, but they have come out absolutely perfect. So good luck, happy baking, and maybe yours will come out looking better, but they taste lovely. Thanks for watching. <laughs>